and uh, um, so it's very bad. Hey Alex, a couple of weeks ago we spoke about ACE market and we talked about top 10 picks or top 20 picks in the ACE market. But this week you wrote another story on KLCI. You wrote about how bad KLCI has performed. Now we know that 1MDB has been clouded the, the entire local market and KLCI has been dropped pretty badly. So just to paint a picture to the audience, how bad has uh, KLCI performed? Based on the data that we compiled, which include the IPOs, uh, from beginning of the year to last Monday, Busan Malaysia lost 2.6%. That's 42 billion in market value loss. Mm. So I look at the story and you talked about top losers in the market. Now we saw telco, com, uh, telecommunication sector, they are the worst uh, performance in the market. We saw DG, Maxis and also Accepta as well. I'm actually very surprised to see that because they are dividend givers. Actually, what happened to the market? What happened to the sector? Sorry. Because of the deteriorating in the industry fundamentals, there are two factors in play. First one is dividend risk due to the upcoming um, spectrum payment. Second, it, secondly, is the intensifying competition due to the spectrum relocation to expand government revenue. Hmm. So in your story, also, you also mentioned about MSCI's weighting index. Uh, what does that mean and how bad is the market right now for the emerging markets index? Emerging markets uh, took a hit when US rebounds and because of the MSCI uh, review, our Malaysia weighting in the emerging index will be reduced. Uh, effective uh, 31st May. Meaning to say some of the big caps like Maybank, CMB, Petronas Chemical will see their weighting reduced in the index and uh, passively managed uh, indexing funds will adjust the portfolio very soon. So apart from the telco sector, we saw the telco sector was actually the worst performance in KLCI. And apart from that, we saw healthcare sector, material sector and also another one, uh, IT sector, they were among the worst performance, worst stocks in the market as well. Um, tell us more about material sector. What happened in the material sector? Why did, did it plunge? Well, the underperformance of material sectors uh, is due to two companies. The first one is uh, Petronas, uh, Petronas Chemicals, which is one of the companies that are affected by the MSCI review. The second one is uh, Chaya Mata Sarawak and CMS, which lodged the 3% year to date due to the very poor uh, fiscal result. Brand crude oil has rebounded to about 50 US dollar a barrel. Does this actually help the market at all? I know you spoke to Ethica Insurance, uh, Kakafu, head of research, and also another head of research as well. What do they say? What did they say about the market? Well, they say uh, moving forward, one of the key indicators that will drive the market performance will be in, in uh, US interest rate as well as the strength of the US recovery. Uh, Danny said that. Uh, Another thing that could be interesting to watch would be the domestic interest rate. There is a possibility that Bank Nagara could cut their SRR, the statutory uh, reserve rate, or they could just go direct uh, lead to cut the interest rate. Hmm. Now we spoke about top losers, uh, top decliners in the market. What about the top gainers? Who are the top gainers and why are they outperforming the KLCI market? Well, the more notable top gainers are definitely uh, Asia and Asia X because of the strengthenings of ringgit in the first quarter. But sector-wise, the up-performing sectors are financials and utilities and some of the F&B companies. For financials, it's because of the ki uh, kitchen sinking exercise that took uh, to reduce costs. For utilities and F&B companies, it's because investors go defensive and seek uh, earning visibilities in these sectors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So overall, what do you think about the performance in the KLCI? Because when you mentioned about uh, AirAsia, when you mentioned about uh, companies like AirAsia, AirAsia X, and also financial uh, sector, right? We saw that Maybank and M Bank last week, their earnings plunged pretty badly, but still it outperformed KLCI anyway. So and for the entire overall market, what, what's the feel of the entire market? Well, it started to decline since late April. And given that corporate earnings uh, have yet to recover, there's a possibility that uh, it may not be it may not be doing so well in the near term. Mm. Yeah. So we talked about uh, Danny Wong from Areca Capital Research. Did he tell you about what kind of stocks that investors should go in at the moment? Well, Danny said that uh, for long-term investor, financials are probably okay to go in now, but you may not see very exciting return in the near term because of the cost control measures they have taken uh, recently. And so uh, for growth investors, they can probably look at plantation and oil and gas counters because of the recovery 
uh, in commodity prices. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of the Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.